I was meant to put out an entirely different video this week, but then I got hit with the, uh, the classic. That's right, I'm pregnant. While my voice might sound terrible, there is something that doesn't, and that's LEGO video game sound design. The breaking, the building, the studs, the minikits, it all just sounds so nostalgic and beautiful. Whenever I play the complete saga, I like to just stop in this room and experience the greatest ambiance in all of gaming. There is something in LEGO, however, that transcends the games, something that spawned countless memes, videos, and Discord soundboard spam. The death sound. And today we're gonna find the best ones out of all 26, 25, 23 mainline TT LEGO games, this time going in reverse chronological order. Some of these games, well, the majority of these games are lacking, but when they hit, they hit really well. A lot of you guys gave me suggestions via the community tab on my channel, and although nearly every one of your collective suggestions came from the complete saga, you guys have gotta play something else, it is the worst out of the classic three, I figured I'd throw in this honorable mention segment before the video begins, so without further ado, here is every rejected LEGO death sound from the list played on top of each other all at once. You have been warned. <laughs> Oh, and we are skipping a few of the games. If it's not on the list, you can just assume that the game has no death sounds at all. Look, I'll be honest, this was the last game I made the choice for. The more I searched for the perfect sound, the more I realized how everyone's death noise blended together. Sure, there were standouts, the Clone Wars voice actors really gave it their all, but nothing felt special. Maybe it was exhaustion, maybe it was delusion, but as I was cycling through random characters and jumping off of Mustafar, I randomly selected the super battle droid and leaped to my death. And the sound he made destroyed me. It barely even sounds like they added a robotic filter to the guy's voice. It's just some dude giving their best impression of what a robot sounds like. Maybe you like the Wampa, or maybe you like Claude, but the Super Battle Droid is always going to be a clear winner for me. Remember, I'm not basing this ranking off of anything in particular. It could be a sound that I find funny, weird, out of place, or even nostalgic. And in the case of DC supervillains, it's the latter. I've always been a pretty big DCAU fan, and even outside of that continuity, I've kept up with shows like Young Justice. So when I heard how perfectly Clarion the Witch Boy sounded in this game, I knew he just had to be on the list. DCSV may not be one of my favorite games, but honestly, to this day, it still feels like one of, if not the most, passion-infused LEGO game TT Games has ever put out. Every voice sounds so good, and as a result, a lot of the death sounds are just as faithful as Clarion's is. But because his voice is already so unique thanks to the wonderful talents of Tom Hernandez, it will always stand out to me as one of the greats. Going into LEGO Incredibles, I thought I was going to have a tough time. The amount of Pixar legacy characters and weird enemies made me think I was going to have to choose between a lot of goofy sounds. Unfortunately, a lot of the characters' noises were pretty tame. I ended up choosing a guy named Spot who I think is from The Good Dinosaur. Regardless of if he's from the Incredibles universe or not, I just like how his death sound sounds like he's choking on some food or like a cheeseburger or something. I may not be the world's biggest Marvel fan, but credit where credit is due. This is the first game, or I guess the last because we're in reverse order, that correctly puts the death noises under the dialogue sound option and not the sound effects, making it way easier to listen to hundreds of characters dying at once. The crazy thing is, it didn't take me any time at all to decide that Triton has the weirdest collection of sounds ever. He goes from sounding like he just found out his mom is in the hospital, to doing the Mario 64 falling scream. And there is nowhere in between, making every death you take a brand new adventure. The Lego Ninjago hits a very strange middle ground. While only around half the cast have death sounds in general, like the Incredibles, they're all super tame. Even the freaks don't really have much going for them. Whenever this kind of thing happens, which believe me, it happens a lot, I instead try to look for a death sound that has a cool vocal filter or effect, like Mororor. What? Mororor? Moror. 
This is the stupidest name ever. I think I'm just partial to green toxic guys from watching Batman Beyond way too much as a kid, but I think the effect stands out enough against the basic sounds from the rest of the cast. We all know The Force Awakens is not everybody's favorite LEGO game, but I have to admit, I really enjoy the character roster. I've never fully played it all the way through, but after totally legitimately getting 100%, I was pretty surprised at the sheer amount of characters they included. I went through every single one of the sounds one by one, and stopped dead in my tracks when I got to this guy. You cannot tell me... Prue Suavant does not have one of the greatest realizations of mortality of all time. I don't even know who the f he is. Avengers is personally my least favorite LEGO game. I don't like the roster, the levels just suck, and the death sounds are lackluster. There were two contestants though that stood out barely against the rest, that being Moonboy and Modok. Moonboy's is just jarring as the sound goes on way longer than it should. And Modok, I'll let this one just speak for itself. At first, I wasn't going to choose anyone for this game. There seemed to be only three variants of a death sound, that being the male death sound, the female death sound, or no death sound at all. Once I listened a little bit closer though, I noticed that Ellie Sattler's had a harrowing scream. I don't know too much about this game or the movies to tell if it was ripped straight from the movie, but my god, you'd think they were in the studio killing her for real. LEGO Batman 3 has an insane character roster, full of aliens, light constructs, cyborgs, and cows. You'd think this diverse roster would make it really hard to choose my personal favorite sound, but it really wasn't that bad. Between the random standard malegrunt1.mp3 and the dogbark2.m4a, there lies a single solitary choice, the Lexbot. The glitchy computer sound is weirdly nice on the ears, and the variant of it that sounds like just someone screaming in autotune is, well, for a lack of a better term, incredible. It truly stands out as the most unique sound in the game, despite the plethora of diverse characters. They would have leaned into the more campy side of the game, I could have seen Green Lantern or even Swamp Thing taking it, but it's not even really a contest. Hobbit often rides off the coattails of Lord of the Rings. They use the same engine, similar overworld, etc. Though Lord of the Rings in general just had better death sounds. With the Hobbit sort of scaling down the scale by quite a bit. We'll obviously touch on the prime examples of that in a minute, but this changed my focus from finding a goofy sound to just a good sound, which landed me on the Witch King. <laughs> I really like the vocal effects they use to give it that kind of eerie reverb, and if you want double the effect, you can go to the necromancy level, which has an extra echo built in. Gandalf is a pretty close second place, but nothing really grabbed me here. Where do we even begin? This game's got Herbie, Leader, Howard, Green Goblin, Sandman, Goon, all great in their own rights. I really got stuck between Howard and Leader, but I think I have to go with Howard mainly because this is the type of direction they should have gone with for a character like Green Lantern, but didn't, and it really felt like it was filling a hole. What a fantastic roster. Chase McCain I love the sound design of Lord of the Rings. Nearly everything you hear in-game is lifted directly from the movies, and it shows in just how abrasive Frodo's death is. I couldn't tell you the exact place he makes the noise in the films, but god is it amazing to hear such a hyper-realistic scream come out of a tiny plastic man. A lot of the sounds in this game are like that, but he's the only one insane enough to come out on top. LEGO Batman 2, the first game with full voice acting. It's interesting to see how this affected the character's sound effects, as they went from more cartoonish moans to actual yells of pain. You've obviously been hearing more of the yells of pain from the list so far, but you might notice a switch when we enter our final 10. Anyways, it's because of this switch that a lot of the sounds become more boring. Well, all but one. 
the return of the Lexbot, baby. The Lexbot has such an incredible cyber glitch death sound, like a computer frying out. A definite top 5 death sounds in the entire series. I know I chose the same character for both Batman 3 and 2, but there really isn't much to go off of. The sound is different enough where it feels like they're two distinct characters, and it remains a standout in both rosters. W what do you want from me? The second Harry Potter game didn't make many improvements over the first when it came to sound design. Sure, there are more unique character voice lines in this game, but it still isn't at the same level as some of the other earlier games. Generic male and female death sounds are abundant, and while the death sounds of Harry, Ron, and Hermione are pretty nostalgic to me, they don't hit as hard as they used to. This is when I noticed the house elf and goblin characters, who all share the same nerdy death sound. Unfortunately, I chose one of these Goblin-esque characters for the first Harry Potter game, and I didn't want to have another doubled up entry, so instead, we're going with the Skeleton. The Skeleton shares the same death sound as the Goblins and Elves, which really begs the question of… how? The anatomy of this pile of bones is nowhere near how the other guys look, so how does this make any sense? And why does he, or I guess she, stand like a, a middle school bully? Will any of my questions ever be answered? One of the most underrated LEGO games out there, LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean has quite a few contenders for the top spot. There's of course the subversive pick of Cotton who lacks any sound at all, there's the dog who just kinda screams at you, but then there's Mr. Gibbs who loudly exclaims ow and then immediately dies. He's just like me for real. Mr. Gibbs surely has to take the top spot. While a lot of the death noises and pirates are just copied between the cast, of the unique ones that we have, like Jack, Will, and Mr. Gibbs, I think Gibbs has the most personality. Listen, LEGO Star Wars had a lot to live up to in terms of, well, everything. It's LEGO's most profitable IP besides maybe Marvel, and it definitely knocks Marvel out of the park when it comes to how iconic it is. This game is interesting though, as a majority of the character sounds from the complete saga weren't changed at all, so returning to a brand new character added in this game, Poggle. Listen to this sh- <laughs> What the hell is this sound? Why does he feel the need to rev it up? Why is he so dramatic? Only God knows. LEGO Harry Potter was the first game where they got really lazy with character sound effects. Outside of unique creature characters and the main cast, almost none of the character voiceovers are unique. Why does Voldemort share the same death sound as, like, a shark? Anyways, this makes us have to examine the more special characters, like the dog, Dobby, and of course, Griphook. It's so nasally and so weaselly. No, not, not that weaselly. I don't know, I think I just have a strange obsession with little freak characters and the weird noises they make. And nothing is more freakish than this. You wanna know something crazy? LEGO Indiana Jones 2's best character death sound is... No one. This game doesn't have any character sound effects on PC. I didn't notice this until I began working on this video. I opened up the game to test some character death sounds and realized that pretty quickly, well, there's none. You make it so hard to defend you sometimes. There were a lot of hard choices made on this list, but LEGO Batman 1's may have been the hardest. There were so many great death noises, from Man Bat to Killer Moth and even Penguin, but one reigned supremely above the rest and it's the one that actually inspired me to make this list. Does anybody ever play as the Mad Hatter in LEGO Batman 1? He is by far the most useless character. A high jumper with no wall jump, only has a gun, and his whole special ability of mind control is the most useless in the game. However, if you do randomly get him in your free play party and run directly off a cliff, you'll hear this amazing sound. <laughs> Somewhere between a laugh and a Looney Tunes-esque yell, his death noise is just an insane sound to make right before you die. This almost more so belongs to the Joker than anybody else, 
yet Mad Hatter, the unassuming Mad Hatter, gets it instead. Jokes, jokers aside, I really wish more death sounds were just goofy like this. I think it's what the newer games are missing, though there is one classic LEGO game that tends to lack in the death sound department as well. LEGO Indiana Jones 1 doesn't have a lot of unique character voice lines. A lot of the male hurt or male death sounds are transferred between characters as they all sound kind of similar. Though there is one character with unique and pretty funny sound effects, and that's Short Round. Ow! Oh, ow! It reminds me a lot of Gibbs from Pirates of the Caribbean with him kind of just shouting ow as he gets punched to death. It sucks that the roster for LEGO Indiana Jones is full of that much filler. I felt for sure that the Boxer would have had a great sound effect, or even the Grail Knight, but they're all pretty standard, and it's quite the letdown for one of my favorite LEGO games. We all knew this was coming. The various comments about Django, Jar Jar, and even Rebel Friend don't compare to him. LEGO Yoda is the most iconic thing to come out of LEGO ever. The amount of videos, memes, pictures, and everything else that exists around this guy's stupid death sound is immense. And it doesn't stop there. The source of the sound that Yoda makes here isn't from a moment of pain, death, or anger. It comes from a battle cry in Episode 2. This sound that was intended fully to be a moment of triumph was single-handedly recontextualized by a LEGO game. The power it holds terrifies me. The best part about it is that it really does sound like someone is dying. It's not overly goofy like Killer Moths or extremely painful like every sound in Pirates. It strikes a perfect balance of over-the-top loudness with genuine pain. I love everything about it. Through the bad, the uninspired, and even the lack of any sound at all, that was the best death sound from every single LEGO game, and it's got me curious what my death sound would be, so while I go walk into the nearby uncontrolled intersection, let me know down below which one was your favorite and why. Nostalgia, sound design, or did you just find it funny? I would say see you guys next time, but uh, I've got a bus to go catch with my, my body.